warning residents not to go outside. And looking at flight disruptions across the country. Back are racing for another storm. It looks like it's already starting. Why winters are getting colder despite global warming. We've all heard it countless times. The classic remark, if global warming is real, then why is it so cold outside? At first glance, it seems like a valid question, and it's easy to see why people would ask it. However, the reality is much more complex than it may seem at first glance. At times, two seemingly contradictory facts can coexist, such is the case with global warming and its impact on the winter season. Surprisingly, global warming can result in both colder and hotter winters. Climate Central reports that over the past 50 years, winters in the U.S. have, on average, warmed by 3 degrees Fahrenheit, with certain northern states experiencing increases of up to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. However, paradoxically, global warming can also contribute to colder and harsher winters. This past winter exemplifies this phenomenon vividly as a historic cold wave gripped the United States. Cities across the nation were paralyzed by heavy snowfall, freezing rain, and relentless winds. In mid-January 2024, frigid Arctic air surged southward, shattering daily low temperature records from Montana to Texas. The impact was widespread, with tens of millions of people enduring dangerously cold temperatures. Additionally, heavy lake-effect snow and snow squalls wreaked havoc across the Great Lakes and Northeast regions. The idea of freezing temperatures and global warming may initially seem contradictory, but in reality, they are interconnected. So why is this the case? To understand, let's explore the intricate relationship between global warming, extreme winter weather, and the enigmatic polar vortex. But before we delve into this complex topic, it's essential to differentiate between weather and climate. Weather pertains to short-term atmospheric conditions like temperature and precipitation, whereas climate refers to long-term patterns in weather across regions. Human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, have played a significant role in altering our planet's climate. The release of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, traps heat in the atmosphere, resulting in global warming. Consequently, this warming disrupts weather patterns and exacerbates extreme weather events worldwide. At the core of the recent cold spell lies the polar vortex, a massive, swirling body of bitterly cold air that encircles the Arctic region. When this polar vortex weakens, it can release blasts of frigid air, causing temperatures to plummet across the northern hemisphere. The disruption of the polar vortex may be intertwined with shifts in the jet stream, a high-altitude wind system that plays a crucial role in shaping weather patterns. The rapid warming of the Arctic, a consequence of climate change, is contributing to the destabilization of the polar vortex. As the Arctic heats up, the temperature contrast between the polar region and the mid-latitudes diminishes. This weakening temperature gradient slows down the jet stream and makes it more susceptible to deviations from its typical path. As a result, the jet stream tends to meander further southward, allowing cold Arctic air masses to spill into regions where they are not typically encountered. This phenomenon explains why areas accustomed to milder winters are experiencing prolonged periods of extreme cold. Furthermore, researchers Mi Kyung Sung and Soon Il An have discovered that mid-latitude oceans, where the Gulf Stream and the Kuroshio Current are, have a big impact on strange weather in places like East Asia and North America. These ocean areas work like thermostats, controlling how warm or cold the nearby air gets. For example, the Gulf Stream brings warm water from the tropics to the North Atlantic, while the Kuroshio Current warms up East Asia's climate. The 2021 Texas power outage, triggered by an unexpected cold snap killing 250 people, highlights the urgent need for accurate climate models to forecast extreme weather events and mitigate their socioeconomic impacts. While some scientists attribute extreme cold waves to global warming-induced disruptions in the polar vortex and jet stream, others maintain that it may simply be a natural climate variation. Nevertheless, one thing remains clear. 
extreme winter weather does not negate the reality of climate change. As we navigate through the complexities of weather patterns and climate dynamics, one fact stands tall. Our planet is warming at an unprecedented rate. Despite the chilling cold gripping the nation, the evidence of global warming remains indisputable. Let's heed the call to action and work towards mitigating the impacts of climate change before it's too late.